So this is my response to Chase's my gear after a crash video. This is the gear that I was wearing when I crashed in February, uh, February 28th, 2012. Got uh, kind of low sided into a uh, front wheel of a car that pulled out in front of me. Uh, I was wearing the uh, my tour master jacket because it was February and it was cold. And so I was wearing my Flex, was this Flex 2, my Flex 2 jacket uh, with all three layers on. I actually have not done anything with this jacket really um, since they took it off of me. Uh, yeah, I took it to the insurance company, had them evaluate it. But really the main damage was on this side here. And you can kind of see the, the, the strap here broke. There's a hole. Um, and then the elbow, right where my elbow pad was. So you can tell that my elbow hit. And you can also tell that uh, I probably would have had a broken elbow, except there's pat, there's armor, CE-approved elbow armor in here. And other than that, it's just really some scuffs and scrapes. There's some, some scuffs on the other side. You know, a little hole, another elbow scrape. But other than that, uh, it really held up pretty well. Flip it over. I don't think there's anything on the back. No, see the back's totally fine. So it's a good jacket. Um, obviously not visible enough to be seen, but and that held up really well. And the only uh, torso injuries I had, I had three broken ribs, and those are kind of impact injuries, so there's not a whole lot you can do about those. No road rash, no nothing on, on my arms. Um, after that, I had my Cortec gloves and my uh, left glove. This one here survived pretty well. Got a little scraped up on the knuckles, but that's why there's a knuckle protector. Uh, no holes, no real damages. It's the uh, right glove that actually, um, yeah, see there's a nice hole there where it came through. And the palm stitching is all sorts of torn up. Um, the knuckles got a little banged up. And I did actually break this hand. Uh, I broke the um, pinky bone, the fifth metacarpal, not so sure on my human bones, um, broke it, which is a pretty common low side or crash injury. It's because there's no protection when your hand hits along this side of the glove. Um, yeah, there's a little wrist protection here, but no, like, uh, I have new racing gloves now, and they have, like, little skid pads, because what happens is the leather will grip onto the um, pavement and cause your hand to curl and break. They're not motorcycle boots, I know. <laughs> um, these are my Red Wing work boots. They are skid proof, oil proof, waterproof, dynamite proof, I'm pretty sure everything proof. This is the only piece of gear that I can actually still use. Um, they're a little scuffed up on the front. Mostly Oh, see, I can't even figure out which side it is. Here it is. Um, there's little scuffs on the front here. And then there's this little bitty part where the the stitching got torn. And it's not even through the waterproof liner. So <laughs> it's, they're still waterproof. And I still wear them because I love them. They're ugly. But man, they hold up well. Um, next is my HJC helmet. Uh, got a little banged up. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys can see this, the paint chip, well, that's all sorts of messed up. And then, um, this is why I wear a full face helmet, is the scratches go down across my face shield, and there's actually some more scratches that were on this side going the opposite direction. And then my chin vent is completely broken, and there's more paint missing from the chin. I have a picture that I'll put on the screen showing what parts of my face would be missing had I not been wearing this helmet. And this is a Snell 2005 approved, as well as DOT approved. Spin it around here. See, Snell and DOT. And personally, uh, yeah, I was kind of glad I had that on. And last but not least, I know these are not riding pants. These are actually just Goodwill pants that I bought and happened to be wearing that day. And actually, the pants held up pretty well. But um, they only tore right here. And you're probably thinking, oh, there's a lot more tear as well. They tore right here on the pavement. That's the only place they tore is right at the knee. You can actually still see 
this white stuff, and these pants have been washed. This white stuff is, yeah, it is my flesh on the inside of those pants. And so when I got me into the emergency room, or maybe it was in the ambulance, they actually cut these pants off me. <laughs> So the pants are no longer salvageable. Anyway, that's all the gear I was wearing when I crashed. I also had a grade one spleen laceration, which I guess would qualify as a torso injury. No head injuries. Um, the broken hand I told you about. I did have a sprained ankle, but it was not a broken ankle thanks to my boots. Uh, just a sprained ankle. I did make them pull the boots off instead of cutting the boots off. I weren't sure if they could cut the boots off, but, you know, they're $200 boots. I'd like to keep them. And so my feet were pretty much unscathed. Uh, the biggest, well, the most visual injury was my knee. And that comes from wearing no knee protection. I mean, obviously, I had armor from head to waist and then again on my feet, but nothing in between. So, yeah, my knee got pretty torn up. But um, that's why you should always wear your gear, everybody. And uh, yeah, stay rubber side down.